As the Sims 4 wedding pack aptly shows, many would rather rely on Sims 4 mods or Sims 4 CC to tell their stories. With gameplay still struggling with bugs and the decline in popularity in things like Let's Plays on YouTube, I believe now is a critical time for the Sims franchise. So today, I'm sharing what may be a series where we look into the behind-the-scenes development at EA and what news could mean for a potential Sims 5, from character creation to gameplay and other rumors like multiplayer. And today, we'll be looking at a newly obtained patent that involves intuitive and adaptive NPC character AI, which could hold some very interesting implications for the Sims series. Before I get into this development, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, pack reviews, updates, base game commentary, and post CC and mods on my community tab. My question for you today is, what do you think about this potential upgrade for AI, and how might EA use it? So today, I'll be relying a lot on you to make speculations about what this acquisition could mean for gameplay. Even with digging, the best reporting I could come up with is actually from this Game Rant article, which I will assure you does correspond with other reports, but actually goes into more detail. Keep in mind as I read through this that this is not specific to The Sims 4, but EA does use technology across their games, and many of these implications could mean some interesting things for gameplay in The Sims franchise. The intelligence of non-player characters has long been used as a selling point for new games for publishers like EA. The player's immersion is deepened when the characters that populate a game react to them and each other realistically. Most modern games, NPCs, all work in a similar sort of way, with the quality of the NPC being dependent upon the level of complexity attributed by the developer. EA is now looking for a way to move this intelligence forward while cutting back on the complexity, so that's kind of interesting. The player is the only one in a video game world with any true agency, as NPCs can only react to a player's actions. These NPC reactions are decided by behavior trees, which are essentially flow graphs deciding what the NPC should do next. The perceived intelligence of an NPC is measured in how complex and varied these behavior trees are. The problem for developers is, for every possible player action, a new branch needs to be added to the behavior tree for an NPC to seem truly realistic and reactionary. Not only that, but as more reactions are added, more computing power is used by every NPC. But with a new patent filed by EA, NPCs could soon see a step forward in their intelligence. The pattern is for readable and editable NPC behavior. Essentially, it describes a way that editing these NPC behavior trees on the fly, rather than having them to increase the complexity of them to encompass all possible NPC actions. It also describes reading specific player data, such as location and health, and using reinforcement learning to adapt NPCs' behaviors goals. But how close this system is to being used in future EA games remains unclear. From the description, this system could have many applications, especially for reinforcement learning. NPCs could be able to not only recognize player actions in the moment, but remember actions players have done previously outside of scripted storyline choices. Or they could remember the last place they saw the player or how much health they had, and this could make for a very immersive game world. This patent also states that the generated behavior trees will be drawn up from this reinforced learning data. This means two different player interactions with every NPC in a game could be different based not only on their in-game choices, but also, interestingly enough, their playstyle. EA's proposed NPC AI learning system would be most interesting to see in the next Mass Effect game, and they kind of go on and explain that. But like I said, this could also be adapted for their other games, and I think it could be adapted for a game like The Sims. Now, I hesitated to cover this for a few reasons. For one, it doesn't inherently paint a story for either Sims 4 updates, which seems very unlikely, and Sims 5, of course, is still a huge unknown. But I do think that EA acquisitions and interviews are very important to pay attention to. What's unclear to me is precisely what is new about this technology. 
So I was discussing this with a, one of my friends on Twitter, and they mentioned that, of course, that there are games that already use things like adaptive AI, at least to some extent. Even a game like Civilization, if you've ever played it, I have, it does actually use adaptive reasoning to kind of understand what the player is doing, and the game adapts according to that. So I looked for a while, but it seems like the exact details of this new patent are not yet widely available. But as I'm looking beyond the Sims 4 wedding pack problems, I keep thinking about how important it is for a simulation game to inflict personality without the use of popular mods like Slice of Life. And even though I may critique Sims 4 packs, I always see that a lot of the problem is with the foundation and also the structure of how things are put out. I know many are not very helpful right now, but I actually do see some potential signs, not so much with Sims 4, but maybe that Sims 5 could be built on a stronger foundation for more intuitive gameplay. Now maybe I'm being too optimistic and I think that's okay because maybe I just want to be, maybe I want the best for this franchise and right now the world of course is full of problems and I want to be hopeful about something. Now as I close, if you have any suggestions for future more in-depth videos than this one was for Sims 4 investigative series, please let me know. And in the meantime, let's hope they get some of the core bugs plaguing my wedding stories fixed. Also, I just want to note that I hope all of you are safe, happy, and healthy. And to those who are not or struggling or in a terrible situation right now, I really am thinking about you and I wish you hope and light. On that note, thanks as always for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.